Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Woodville here in Sydney Skylines where today I have a very very exciting announcement I think and I say this very loosely because you never know what's going to happen in this game but I think we've finally fixed the nature reserve yes I'll tell you all about it in just a moment but guys, oh my goodness me, I can't believe this is happening right now. If you have been enjoying Woodville, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you haven't already, then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out. But I think we've legit finally fixed it. So just before we jump straight into this and check it out and see what's going down, we've had many issues. Since day one since we built it, nobody has been able to visit it. I tried all kinds of things like, you know, adding this big car park in. I'm going to pause for just a second because you can see the amount of vehicles driving up this road. This is very unusual, Seniac. What is going on over here right now? We had the parking lot in. I added in a freaking bus route right now. I put the metro up here. I even went to the extent of building a little bit of residential up here as well just for the sake of getting people nearby because I didn't feel like anybody was coming in. And look at this. I've already got 44 visitors. And there is many, many more on the way. We thought the issue could have been because of this road. It wasn't because of this road. We thought it could have been because I put parking on. So we kind of changed the road up and whatnot. It wasn't to do with that. It's... Do you want to know what it was, guys? Do you really, really want to know what it was? Now... To be honest with you, I actually don't know what it was. But what I did was I deleted the two entrances here and here. The two side entrances. Deleted the main entrance... And then just replace them back down. I don't know why we didn't do that in the first place. It's like the game's version of pressing the on and off button. <laughs> Get rid of it, place it back down. And since then, everyone is able to kind of walk in. Now, I don't know what the issue was. Now, you could argue maybe because I played... Because you can see the road slightly wonky leading in. So you could argue that because I did move this small centralized using the, uh, the move it tool. You could argue that kind of broke this entrance. But these two here were placed down freely as they are. They weren't... I didn't use the move it tool. But maybe if that was a broken the main entrance, then the side gates don't work. I don't know. I don't know what the freaking issue was right now. But what I can tell you guys, for the first time ever, people are coming in and we have traffic... <laughs> Oh my goodness me, we have so much freaking traffic right now. We kind of need to get this sorted, right? We kind of do. Now, what do we do? Is this going to be an all-time thing? Like, there's always going to be this amount of traffic going around? I don't know. But it's quite exciting. It is quite exciting. So, let's try and switch things up then. So, first things first, I'm actually going to get rid of this. Because the whole reason that was there was for the sole purpose... Of having some residents nearby uh, in case that was the issue. That wasn't the issue. So all this can now go. I am so, so sorry for anybody who did live in these beautiful little houses. But they're now gone. Okay, they're now gone. So the problem we got right now is they're not able to bring or everyone's not able to kind of enter from this area. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, they, keep, they seem to keep stopping. So junction restrictions allow the vehicles to keep flowing on through bring them in a little bit quicker obviously they'll stop if they got across the road i don't know whether to kind of do an asymmetrical road leading in or out now yes we have a lot of vehicles coming in we have a lot of vehicles coming in what we're also going to do is i'm going to put the parking restrictions back on i don't want them to park on these roads there we go so everyone's got to park in the car park right that's what they've got to do how they do it i don't fully know I'm not 100% sure, but do I set up some asymmetrical roads leading in? Oh, it's so I, I'm, I'm so excited. I just don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel. Now, hmm. The issue is... Oh, my God. He's even backing up onto the highway. My issue is, right, I don't know if we're going to have the majority of the traffic coming in or going out. I don't fully know just yet. So I could say maybe I'll turn this into a big boulevard-style road. Once the traffic has came in and everyone's visited it, I could not have this traffic ever again. Again, I do not know. But what I do know right now is we have the bulk of the traffic entering the area. So by that logic, 
right we're going to bring this all the way down to here to make sure it's on the right side yeah and there is parking restrictions on this right no okay you can't park on the edge okay i should have known that in the first place <laughs> and we'll sort this junction out over here so let's put into play mode for a hot minute and we'll sort it out in a sense that that turns that way and these guys turn into this way it's then up to them how they want to do all the other stuff i could you know set this up to go straight across but for the most part we have it set up where both sides of the, the lanes here can enter in when the traffic lights run green. This is just to pu uh, purely set up the fact that I can then merge them all in as one. Now, I could set it where... I mean, how much traffic... I don't really have that much traffic coming down from this area. But I could set it where, like, you know, they all stay in their, their lanes. One does a ride, one goes straight on. All that kind of jazzy stuff. But... It's just one of those things. I let it kind of naturally disperse in. So keeping the traffic lights there because it gives us a little break to get a few vehicles in and off it goes. Now, I've got traffic issues everywhere. But I ain't going to do anything about it. Just because I know it's purely people coming into this area. So I can't believe we got these type of demands right now, boys. I cannot believe we got these type of demands. I didn't know this was going to be so popular. Well, again, I did throw everything onto it in terms of policies. <laughs> so, oh my goodness me. I'm just happy, guys. I'm just happy it's now freaking working. Can we see actual people walking about? Oh, there's a person. There's people. Guys, we have people in here right now for the first... Oh, this is so good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now, guys. I, I, I am. <laughs> this has been much, much headache. It should have been so freaking obvious, though, to kind of delete it and add the entrances back in. But I, I honestly thought it was some kind of other issue, not the gates, because I didn't think I placed the gates down wrong or anything like that. Uh, I just guess we'll never know. I'll guess we'd ever know. Right, well, leave that to settle. I mean, the traffic is backing up for days right now, but they will come to a point where the demands have been met. Unless everyone's just consistently going, then again, it is a Saturday. A day off for everybody. So, come Monday, it could be a completely different story. Uh, really, couldn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Right. Anyway, I'm getting I'm getting too carried away. Right. That little side entrance there is kind of completely all done almost. So it's just you know bringing in more people that way. It's slowly coming in. I'm just gonna leave it because I don't want to fix any issues. It's only we we know the demand of traffic right now is getting to over here. I could filter it in a whole lot better. But they will come to a point where the traffic's going to stop. Because it is a Saturday. And if we start to get them issues again, right, then we'll fix it. The only difference is with this one, they've all come at once since I fixed it. Rather than being gradually throughout the course of a day. So that's that's why I don't want to kind of solve it too much right now. But what I do want to do is settle some of the industrial demand. And I want to get this area up and running as well. As well as adding in a few more industrial kind of buildings over on this side. Now, we've done in the past little stuff like that, but I feel like I'm going to fill up some of these little gaps right now. Because I know there's not too much traffic currently over here. And we'll fill that up there. We'll fill this little section over here. Fill that little section there. And we'll do a strip on this side. Actually, we'll do the whole thing there. So this is going to aid more workspaces. Hopefully, it aids... Um, the subway line that brings people to over to this side right now now it's only passing to trains that are kind of coming in but i can see the build up and the backlog that this is going to potentially cause what seems to be the issue are they trying to exit or come out i don't exactly know what they're doing what is your game plan right now right, i delete that train have i got to delete both ends of it for it to disappear there we go. I weren't too sure what was going on with that then. It was a weird one, but that's going to cause me issues if I don't get it sorted pretty quick. So they should be able to load, unload whatever they got to do. Off that toots, and then this next train comes in. And that will slow start moving. Now. So I don't know how long that was kind of stuck there for, and I don't even know why it was stuck. Weird one, wasn't it? It really. Oh, are we experiencing a death wave? I think we are. Uh, death care? I mean, we've got the capacity, so what's the issue? Oh, okay, so I don't really have anything that covers these areas. So we get a nice little crematorium down there, a nice little creme uh, thrown down, which I think I'm going to... We'll kind of create just over here. Uh, we'll do a nice little road with trees. And we'll kind of bring it up to 
I'll bring it out to here by 20. And then I'm going to do a 10 by 10 bend. And then just kind of run it to about there. So what I'm going to do here is... Actually, no, I'm not going to do it there. I'm going to kill off that. And we'll do a 5 that way and a 5 that way. Now, I don't normally place down graveyards. But I feel like we could really benefit from said graveyard. If I put it there, or do, or do I feel... Mm, I feel like we could, we need to go a little bit deeper into this area. So it's off the beaten track in many ways. So I'll go by 5 here. And do it a 10 by 10. Lead that down to there and then we'll drop well actually I put a little road that comes that comes up here we'll do it number five there we go there we go and okay we'll set this up here then so bam we'll do two little graveyards there we, I never normally do graveyards but I feel like you know I mean I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I, I sound quite so positive about it but if I go about here and just kind of run that up by 10 and then I can drop down here uh, two crematoriums. So it's got good access to get to over here, which is fairly easy. And obviously to get to this area, they can either come down here, drive across. They could uh, go out here, jump on the highway, down to there, turn off, in you go. I've got, I've got the options. Now, granted, it's not as close as I would like it. But for the respect of the families and stuff like that, it's a nice kind of out-of-the-way place, isn't it? That's how it feels. Right, this train station is holding up everybody right now. And I don't see... Why is it... Why is it, like, getting stuck like that? And where is it heading? Uh, people are bored. It's like people can't board onto the train. Why has all of a sudden this become an issue? Why has it all of a sudden become an issue, this train? All right, do I have to delete it from this side? All right, that train's now gone. Because it, it really... Causing some huge little issues there, isn't it? And all right, it's slowly starting to move. That's going that way. That's going to clear a few trains. Is that able to do what it needs to do? Boarding. Now that's moving. So what was the other train's issue then? Oh, I just don't even know anymore. I don't even know what real life is. Right, so we need some power over here. But I'm thinking, rather than dragging stuff's over... I'll set up a couple of little solar panel car parking spots there. Do the same just here and here. So families can park there as they're visiting their loved ones for the ceremonies and all that kind of jazz. Yeah, it could be a cool little thing to add in. A cool little feature we can throw in just there. Um, right, is that... Do we still have this issue? They're still... Bo what is the issue here? I don't quite get it. Now, this is not going to be another kind of case of your Seniac. you got to delete it and then place it back down. Because I feel like I need to delete it and place it back down. Right, if I delete that back a bit. And what does it fall under? Is it this one? It's the one that's got three, isn't it? It's this one here. So that would go there. And then this underground. Now, we've had all kinds of stuff going on with this so I'm not even gonna attempt to try and understand it but there we go that was placed without anarchy so I'll give it a minute or two for it to kind of update and acknowledge its new route and whatnot the sub lane should auto update so let's go by times nine which I believe it now has right yeah uh, train Line, yeah, it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. So I've replaced it down just in case there was a slight little issue or whatnot. They, uh, are they now? Okay, that's now gone. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. So yeah, we got some of that industrial over here right now. Which I wonder if, like I said, we're gonna see a lot more people use the subway lines. I know that one coming across. Through here was a little bit dead. But it might kind of spurt some new stuff going on. Now, 
I do want to get some industrial over here, but I've got to do it in small little pockets and be a little bit careful. So what we'll do here, we'll drop a little bit of, or a couple of little offices in for just a hot minute. And what I want to do as well is zone this area. There we go. And I want to pull it to the, what's it called? If I just put a park, I feel like I just put a park area down, haven't I? Yeah. Zodiac. What are you doing, boy? Uh, I want to do the, you know, the industry 4.0. That's what I want to squeeze on this one. So policies, city planning, industry 4.0. There we go. That rhymed. Lol. <laughs> and then drop this all here. Sweet, mate. And then power. Power, power, power. Power, I'm hoping it's just a simple one of these. Done. Done, mate. Completed it. Right, okay, so let that build itself up then. It's quite a nice little chunk of industrial we're just kind of thrown in, which has growth spurted some of that residential. Now, how is the traffic sitch over here? So it is dying down the traffic situation. As more and more people coming in, people are now trying to leave the area. So once it's all done and dusted, this traffic issue, they will then see where the chips fall. But as of right now, oh we, yeah, it's also free to get in. Let me change that. <laughs> We've had over a thousand people visiting, which is really good. So I'm hoping that people utilize the metro. Hmm. Right, I now have another seek, uh, sneaky uh, blah, blah, suspicion. You know some of these subway lines? Right, and if I get... Where is it? Here we go. That is by 12. That is by 41. Are people just not one... Hmm, then you go, it does come from over there. Hmm... Are people just not using some of these lines? Is it because, like, the metro line is... You know, because obviously we had that bug where it kept dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping the line. Minus 36. Like, is it slightly broken? You know what I'm trying to say? Is it slightly broken, the train stations? Now, there's... Oh, I think it has, because nobody was using this line before. Oh, I think it has. I think it legit has. Alright, we got some big boy fireworks. Right, is there people waiting on this line? Yes, I think there is. And that goes up to there. Okay, right, pause. We're pretty much fixing a load of issues, aren't we? Right, if I can... Get the right angles for these. There we go. And then drop in this. Oh, wait. Okay, hang on. Hold on. Right. Believe. Yeah, he went there, didn't it? Yeah. That there. And then you go directly to there. You go to re directly to there. Back into play mode. That should fix that. So let me just see. Let me just wait for that. Them subway lines, metro lines, we want to call them to update. Then I know we're rocking and rolling. I think the metro lines have dropped so far below the train station, the game doesn't even think they're connected right now. <laughs> I think I mean, that's what's happening because we've seemed to have fixed this one when we replaced that station. Which for the life of me, I still got to fix that. But that's that, yeah, that's a headache for another day. Uh, this station right now does not compute. So delete you, delete you, and delete you. And then train station to get it back involved. Ooh, okay. So this one, we might have to anarchy it in. Right. Just for the sake of getting it connected. That went to there. You know what? No. No, 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 no. 
I rather delete. No, I'll keep that one there, though. Because I, I, I forgot the old issue with the anarchy. The issue is, if you anarchy it in, the lines go underground. Right, so that went there. Okay. So that... Goes there, that goes there. I'll sort them out and make them pretty layer, and then back underground. I feel like this has been a really good like bug fix episode. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully then that updates. So I'll just give it a minute or two, just in case it doesn't, before we move on to the next problem. Which there really shouldn't be a next problem, if you think about it. But this is City Skylines. There's always a problem. <laughs> right, that seems to have updated that one little section. Uh, it's updated that one. There's two more now to update. Okay, one more now to update, is, which is the train line. Which I'm not sure if the train line will update. Because sometimes it has to wait for a, an actual train to hit the station. There we go. We're all good. So then that goes to here, which is people waiting. So we know that station's fine. This station's got so many people on right now, which is crazy. This station, you kind of can't see them. But look at the sheer drop there. But I know it's a big drop. But what you got to think of is... Well, I don't know what you're going to think of. I, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Well, what you're going to think of is, it's not, that's what I was going to say. It's not the station that's dropped, is what I was trying to think of saying. It made sense in my head. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> uh, and then we just have to then... All right, let me get the angle just right. Just do that to there. Which is now all the correct height. There's people waiting at that one. Wonderful. Which means I can then do a line that goes through here. And have a little stop there. And I think, because that one's working there. I think I edit this one underground. There's people are waiting over here. If I change it to that, you can kind of... Um, is that the right one? How did I see... All yeah, yeah. You can see all the green people. The green people are for the metro line. Over here. Oh, there's actual people waiting there. Oh, this is... Uh, oh, my goodness me, boy. It's now officially all working. Right, the Piasta Resistance is there's actual people waiting at this train metro line section here. It's now working. Which, by that logic, people are going to use the metro line, which they are right now, up here. Thus, hopefully, reducing the amount of vehicles driving in and entering our nature reserve. But I don't think... I think that's going to be normal traffic right now, isn't it? Oh, dear. Uh, so that leads to over here, which is fine. Leads to over here, which, yeah, there's people waiting there. It's fine. Again, it, it is a Saturday, so we won't see that many people. To over here. Ah, this is an issue we're here then. So pause. Right, delete. Now, this one might be a little bit of a tricky one to get back in. So let's see how this plays out. Right, no. So I'm going to have to delete. That. Ah, oh, we unhooked that as well why did we unhook that and also why is there a road here questions i i don't know but that needs to go here so i've got to delete that bit and i'm gonna have to delete this okay so it's no biggie because we fixed it on on last time round it seems to keep switching there but bam that's where we want it Straight down to there. I'll anarchy that bit there. And then the undergroundness. I don't know if we can be able to get that connected. No, it's a bit too far away. Unfortunately, I've got to delete some stuff. That's a there. Does that. Is that. Yeah. It's technically connected, okay? It's technically connected. 
So I know it's going to throw a little tantrum right now. We'll come back to that in just a minute. But the subway line is able to connect. And that leads to over here, which there's people waiting. So, and, and that's all my subway lines. So, it's a good job we've actually fixed it in this episode. Because how many episodes have we done right now and this whole thing's been broke? And, I, and to think of it as well, I was starting to slowly get a couple of um, traffic issues here, there and everywhere. Now, is that because all of my public transportation was broke and nobody was able to go on any of the like, you know, lines to get places? I think it may have been. I legit think that might have been the answer. Whew. Feels good right now, doesn't it, boys? Feels good to have these fixes right now. Um, right, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, that is now all done. That is now all done officially. Is there people waiting here? Um, it's... Are they? Yes, I can see a person right there. Okay, that's... Yeah, they're definitely using that. I don't know why that's there, but I'll connect it anyway. <laughs> uh, right. Right, right, right. It's now almost midnight on a Saturday, and there's now lots of traffic going out. So by the looks of it then, the asymmetrical road is just not going to cut the mustard for us. It's going to have to be a, a, the big double, boys. The big double. And I think we're going to go for keeping it a small style road. Because we're going to need just as many coming in, just as many leading and exiting out. So let's resort this junction out. Let me pause. So that will be the left hand turn in. Uh, right hand turn, sorry. This will be the left hand turn in. And we'll make this one be the straight on as well. Because I don't see feel like there's going to be that many people right turning. So we'll filter that into being the straight on road as well. We'll have you to turn that way. You to turn that way. You go there, there, and there. So filter into that one because there's not many people doing the left hand turn. And that is pretty much straight on. That is... Oh, pretty much straight on and turning that way. I forgot this has to turn that way as well. It's all over the place, but I prefer to do it this way. Because in my head, logically, I understand that. You guys might not understand it, but logically in my head, I understand it. So that would be the turn to this way. That would be the... Hmm. We should one-way road this. Shouldn't we? We should one-way road this, so... Flip it around. One way roaded that. Because then that means. That means, boys. That goes that way. That goes that way. That goes that way. That goes that way. Now they can fight over what lanes they want to be in after. But what we'll do as well is we'll turn the traffic lights off for a hot minute and get those vehicles a moving, a rocking, and a rolling and get them filtered in right now. Get them filtered in. Whatever lane they need to be in, they're all going around in a big circle. So everybody knows what they're doing. It's sound. It's sorted. We can get the traffic flowing. I like it. Progression, boys. Progression. So now then, if we go back to our public transport, granted it is midnight, so don't expect big numbers. But look all our public transport into, oh my, like a thousand people on the subway lines at midnight. That's good. So even though it's only 17 on that one, it doesn't matter because now I know it actually freaking works. Damn. Maybe add a few extra vehicles on that. <laughs> so we've got four vehicles on it right now. I'm going to up that to now six. Get two additional vehicles on that line. Get people moving. So this is the big one that starts here and tears through all the way up. Good to see. Good to see. I might even pull it up to eight. Yeah, we'll double the amount of vehicles on that line. That'll be good for us. Uh, line four, which goes from there all the way down to here, there, there. And eventually we'll go to over here as well. That um, has... I mean, it has the right amount. 
but I'm going to put it to, to free because I'm going to extend it shortly. And then we have this line here, line two, which has a fair few people waiting over there. It only has one vehicle on it. Alright, I love that to free as well. Where's that going? From there to there to over there. Yeah, I feel like that should have more on. And then obviously we got this one, which is directly from that train station and it goes to that one over there. Only has one on. We'll up that to two as well. So we can increase the amount of people using the metro line. And that also goes up to here as well, the um, the nature reserve, so quite important. Yeah, upgrading that road and sorting that road out right now has completely fixed any of the traffic issues we had. Granted, it's early morning, <laughs> but oh, this is so good. Right, we've now had nearly 3,000 peeps. Now, at this stage, 4 o'clock on a Sunday morning, we're making a little bit of profit. Just wait till the end. 6,000 just came in? Oh my goodness me. We gotta celebrate, boys. And we got we, we had 666 monies in the bank there. How are we losing monies when we got profit coming in? Game! I will never understand you. I, I will never understand you. <laughs> right, how's it looking over here then? We're still waiting for these to be built. How long is it taking for these to build? Uh, I, I am building it over the weekend, and they have been working on these ones. So I'll let them off. <laughs> I'll let them off for now. But let me build in an additional metro line just here. Which is not really coming from far. This additional extension. But if I drag this to over here. And there as well. Add that little additional on. Because then when we start to build more up around here. Um, it'll also utilize people living here want to get to over there. They'll hop on this line. Rather than hopping on that to hop onto that to hop onto that. So we create a few more direct routes. Which is really good to see. But ultimately we are killing the game. <laughs> We're actually doing a pretty good job, aren't we? Right, I'm going to extend this area a bit more. Maybe build in a few more offices and whatnot. I'm going to go on with the trees. That type of... Oh, do we go for that that one? With the grass verge. Do you know what? Yeah, because we can create our beautiful little IT cluster. Not IT cluster. You know, a little beautiful little work area. So I'm going to bring that up here by 25. And then where is the point there? We'll bring that down to here. Straight up by 10 there. I mean, I could turn it straight. Yeah, we'll turn it straight in. But I won't put so many buildings on that side. Down here. And we'll do this one by 5. Nice. And we'll stretch that up to there. So this is all pretty much going to be offices. 25 there. Bam. Bam. Like that. Run down this to here. I'm I mean, I do all these little connections like that. But we 100% know. It, it, the majority of it is going to be offices, so we won't see... We're not going to have that much traffic on this section. So I, I can afford to do as many junctions as I have. I mean, we'll put some dirty industry down and whatnot. Don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah. We'll go with that kind of front. So offices, then. We'll put the offices on the big junction sections. Like that. Uh, we'll dot a few more up over to here. Run that down to there. Alright, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. And, like I said, I won't do too many. Bit, well, is that too close? Now I think we'll get away with that. We'll do dirty industry just here. And then our offices can be finalized and added in on that section. 
Right, it's a good little section there. We'll keep expanding on it and moving away from that section, but again, you're able to satisfy the industrial need, but it's offices, the majority of it, so we're not going to see that much traffic around or floating around those areas. And this kind of utilizes this section a bit more. It looks a bit weird for now, but once you get all the offices in, it's going to look pretty, pretty good. I'm happy with now how things are turning out. Are we going to traffic coming back here? Oh my goodness me. The, do you know what, guys? To be honest with you, the traffic is never ended. <laughs> Why do I, How have I gone from they don't want to go to this nature reserve to now that's the only thing these guys want to do? <laughs> it's really affecting my traffic, guys. Right, it also could be as well, which is not helping. The crossing of these roads. So if I got rid of that, which is able to kind of then... Why was you stopping? Is able to make them filter in consistently a bit more. Right, okay. What we're going to have to do is I'm going to filter it where everyone is, is, once they enter, you're stuck in that lane. You're stuck in that lane, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. Now, you might not agree with this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. So they all turn into there. Then this section, that goes into there or there. And that's the one that goes straight on. So that way no one's crisscrossing over one another. Get everyone in a little bit easier right now. Which is good for us. And they're either... I mean... Can we get it where they don't stop here? <laughs> or do we not mind as much? Can't I just come in here and stop over on this side somewhere? Oh, I, 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 I just never know what these guys are doing at times. I never know. I can switch that to a little highway section. But again, the, the traffic has kind of stopped really, hasn't it? Uh, right, I'm just kind of watching to what these guys are doing here. They, do, they Yeah, they, I mean, both sides of the road, they seem to kind of stop there. So what I'll do... If I add it in just here, I know it's a highway-style road. Oh, we need it to be a... Hold on. Yeah, like I said, I know it's a highway-style road, but just just kind of bear with me a second. I know there's ways in which I could have solved it a lot better. But I'm, I just want to... I, I'm, I'm trying my experiment, okay? <laughs> I'm just trying to see how my experiment kind of plays out. Alright, there we go. So that all now filters in. Because I don't want to stop here, which backs it all up. I'd rather than stop further up or somewhere else. So hopefully they can utilize the car parks a little bit more. This should hopefully then filter in the traffic a bit more. And because we don't have that many people using the left-hand turn, maybe what we could do is allow them, if they want to, at this stage here, just the right-hand lane be able to filter over to the left-hand lane, if they want to. They don't have to. They don't have to. But it could, like, if, if say, like, one in every ten vehicles does it on that right-hand lane, it reduces the amount of, uh, it, you know, it slowly reduces the amount of vehicles coming in on the on the right. It, uh, you guys, you, you guys understand. I ain't gonna go through this with you. But yeah, I can't believe we've gone complete opposites, polar opposites right now, which I find freaking hilarious. Where have you come from? Go into the hunting cabin too. Um, oh my goodness me, we gotta we gotta figure out better routes, better ideas, really, haven't we? But it's good, though. It is good. Maybe not have so much advertising on this <laughs> park right now to stop them coming in in their droves. But uh, we'll take it. I'll take everything that we, they're throwing at us anyway. There's a lot of people coming in. How much are we making off this place right now? Uh, nearly 5,000 people coming in. Which is only going to up. Every time I, you know, we get that amount of visitors, it ups the thingy. We make more money. It's all good. But why can't they use public transport, guys? You'd be making... There we go. We just upgraded. You'd be making my life a whole lot easier. Use public transport! But yeah, it's all good. 
It's all good. We'll take it. I don't mind it. It's an issue for another day. I don't mind that so much. So it is still a Sunday. How is the public transport? Look at 1,300 now. Now we up the amount of vehicles that can use these lines. This now has eight. We still have a lot of people waiting on this one. Uh, the big crisscross area. So I could add in an extra subway line. Because all these trains look pretty full. I mean, you get the odd one there that doesn't look how it has as much. This subway line, or this train right now is going to get to this station. So let's, you know, see when it picks it up. How long away is it before the next one's going to come along? So you could do that extra tr uh, subway line right now, train. And then again, that one's going to come in and pick it up. Now, I think we've got the right balance. I think we kind of do have the right balance. So I ain't going to worry about that too much. But there's a lot now going on. So we not enough educated workers. We need more educated workers. Got nearly 50,000 people living here anyway. Slowly building up all these offices. What is the unemployment like? It's at zero. So we could do now then with a load more residential, which we'll look towards getting in next episode. But we finally fixed the nature reserve. That is the big one that we're taking away from this episode. Granted, we have a lot of traffic now coming in. And I've got to set up a better system for this. And we will do that. We 100% we will do that right now. Is I wasn't expecting the demand that we have. I don't think anybody was expecting the demand. Right. I don't like how some of them stop like there. And why are they... Right, bam. There we go. Keep them all free-flowing. And I'm surprised not all of them are using the subway line, but each to their own. Each to their own. Still pretty good, though, right? <laughs> it's still pretty good. But yeah, I think we end it for here, guys. We'll, we'll have this headache for another day, but I do think we'll end it for here. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We've solved a lot of problems, mainly due to our public transport, which is going to be a big help in the long run. We have a few little issues arising here, there, and everywhere. I'm liking how these buildings are now coming together too, which looks pretty good. Um, but it couldn't be a better time right now to expand Woodville. Just saying. So I think on that note, we're pretty much going to end it for here. We need to do another academic work, which they're working on it. Going to wait for this year to currently end. Fingers crossed it does. We can then upgrade the university again. Uh, but we're definitely slowly, slowly, but surely we are getting there. Hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.